Lao Tzu said, My teachings are easy to understand and easy to put into practice, yet your intellect will never grasp them. And if you try to practice them, you'll fail. If you want to know me, look inside your heart. Knowledge only leads to mastery of the external world. Some white Christian men think they have a monopoly on wisdom of the heart because they're contributing so much to worldly knowledge. This is egotistical. External knowledge doesn't make you wise. Jesus lived and taught wisdom of the heart, but so did Lao Tzu. So did Moses, for that matter. So did the prophet Muhammad. By denouncing desire, the Buddha lived and taught wisdom of the heart as well. When people say, from your mouth to God's ears, they're promoting proximity to God. They hope your words will matter greatly to him. I use the word amen, which means I believe, when concluding my prayers, even though that might appear to be redundant. Obviously, I believe in God if I'm praying to him. I use the word amen because it shows me how deeply I believe in God. There's a depth to belief that's always changing. I moved out of my head, through my stiff neck, into my heart, and down the rainbow of hope in my heart to the color indigo. In that dark, cold, and awesomely mysterious inner place, I revealed to myself my belief in God. This brought me out of my broken heart into my soul. Lao Tzu said, not knowing is true knowledge. Presuming to know is a disease. First realize that you're sick, then you can move towards health. A master is his own physician. He has healed himself of all knowing. Thus, he is truly whole. I was very sick. I presumed everything I said in loud or out loud was the truth. Mental illness taught me what a liar I was. I suffered a severe spiritual dis-ease for decades. I had to create a language of my own to overcome my distrust of me. After all, I was a murderer. Three times I tried to kill myself. Creating figurative ways to communicate with myself proved to me that I loved myself. Just repeating the canned words of parrots didn't suffice and obeying scripture literally certainly didn't heal me. Good thoughts. We'll talk again tomorrow about questioning your questions.